I have several things on my mind, Mr. King. First of all, uh, I, I want to know the, the status of the uh, the check that you got last week. I'm Well, Garden, let me tell you something. I have everything laid out the way that I want to work it out. You know, before I told you, I do what I want to, when I want to, and where I want to do it at. Championship wrestling, I assume they won't back out of their word. I got the match together. I got the match together. I'm going to give it to you, but Garden, not until I'm ready. See, nobody could force me to do anything. I do what I want and when I want to do it. So now they gave me the check. I got the check. I'm just hoping they have enough money in the bank when I give you the match, Garden, to back it up because I intend cashing. When you give us the match. That's right. Whenever I want to. I'm going to announce the date in the near future, so all the people have to do is keep watching their TV. I will announce it to you on your show, Garden, but until I'm ready, that's when it's going to happen. Garden, you know, I have the best talent in professional wrestling. You can go to New York. San Francisco, Los Angeles, Hawaii, Japan, any place you want to. I have the best in professional wrestling. Garden, I'm in a position to take over professional wrestling whenever I want to. I got the money and I got the people to do it with, Garden. These are the Florida Tag Team Champion right here. Mr. Uganda and Pac Song. Garden, we are going to do exactly what we want to. And there's nothing anybody could do about it. It's simple as that. All right, we've heard the comments from uh, Mr. Sonny King, and uh, I guess we'll be seeing these two men in action right now going up against Killer Carl Cox and Jim Garvin, and this should be quite a match indeed. So let's turn it over to our ring announcer, Mike Moore. This match is for one fall of the 10-minute time limit. Introduce you on the right from Omaha, weighing the 260 pounds of Brass Thorks champion, Killer Carl Cox. His partner, from Montreal, weighing 228 pounds, the Florida heavyweight champion, Jim Garvin. Their opponents, under the management of Sonny King, from Uganda, weighed on no Mr. Uganda. From Korea, weighing 268 pounds, Pak Song. Killer Carl Cox, Jim Garvin, facing Pak Song and Mr. Uganda. Mr. Uganda moving out uh, first now against uh, Killer Carl Cox. Collar and elbow in the center of the ring. Cox pulls him back to the ring ropes. To the near side. Take down by Cox. Cox keeping an arm bar now on Uganda. Now dropping to the wrist and now uh, another arm drag takedown. Uganda hooking the near leg, trying to drive Cox off his feet, but uh, Cox turned that into a, a front chancery. Excellent move by Cox into a front chancery, makes the tag, Jimmy Garvin into the ring. Garvin, full arm drag and twist. Bottom wrist lock into a hammer lock. Uganda brings him up. Full body slam. Garvin back on his feet. Garvin caught him. A good flying drop kick coming off the ropes. An arm drag by Garvin. Uganda. Jimmy Garvin making the tag with Killer Carl Cox. Killer Carl Cox now has Uganda in the ring. Garvin keeping that arm drag and twist on uh, Uganda. So 
Pak Song has yet to get into the ring, but uh, Pak Song, you can see him waving there to uh, the guy on the him to get over and tag up. Sonny King watching rather impassively. Again, the tag is made. So Cox and Garvin tagging in and out with uh, fine regularity. And uh, this has to uh, wear Uganda down while Cox and King are getting a chance for a brief respite. And the tag is made. Garvin moves back into the ring. The red hat that you see passing back and forth at the bottom of your screen is that of Sonny King. There you see him. Sonny King issuing advice once again to uh, Mr. Uganda. The referee warning King to get back to the corner. battle going on between the referee and Sonny King now as Uganda trying to reach over to tag. And Garvin bringing Uganda back makes the tag with the killer Carl Cox. Cox and flashes out with a boot to the rib cage. Flings the arm momentarily now working on the uh, shoulder muscles. They have been concentrating on that left arm of Uganda. Steadily trying to weaken him. Another one to the rib cage. Inside, uh, cradle by Jimmy Garvin. This may be all shoot. No, sir. Broke free. Back on the canvas once again. Mr. Solis. Cyclone Negro has uh, just joined me here at the desk. I'd like to know what's going on here. Everybody know that I am Mr. Uganda. Everybody know when I, when I used to have the, the mask, everybody recognized that I was Mr. Uganda. Now this Sonny King bring another imposter there and told them that they are the, they are the royal tight team champion. I told you before, and everybody know I am half of the Florida tight team champion. And I can prove this imposter that I have there, I don't know who is, this Sonny King is still doing the same I told you before. He's nothing more than one big liar. I call him the Robert Lick, and the man to talk more than anybody. And this is the proof, right here the proof, that I have the other head of the prior tag team champion. I am Mr. Uganda, and everybody can see. And this is the bell, the proof that I am head of the prior tag team champion. If you want this, you don't want to live. It's not your belt, but it's not your belt. You want you're rotten right. thief. You're rotten thief, and you know you're coming. rotten thief. Barton Shirley, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get belt missing. It got stolen out of the restroom. It's man got the belt. It doesn't belong to so you. Uganda has just been pinned in the ring. Uganda was just pinned in the ring. They just scored a pinfall on, uh, on Mr. Uganda. Uh, and uh, Sonny King standing there obviously bewildered he was over here arguing uh, with Cyclone Negro over here arguing and uh, Jimmy Garvin let me explain something out here no time no time is no you had this thief out here number one this, this is my belt to start with he can strike my attention and he and God let me tell you see what's happening here. We shall never be embarrassed on national TV by nobody. If Cyclone Negro got any any nerve at all, Garden, I'm saying he'll come back out here and he will wrestle Mr. Uganda right here, right now on television. Right now on television, Garden, it's no longer as this stuff is going to happen the way it's been happening. I'm sick and tired of it. He's a thief, and he knows a thief, and the belt is rightfully mine. It belongs to my family. It's my belt. All right, then if Cyclone Negro beats Mr. Uganda, he takes both belts. We'll say the better man win. If, if, if Cyclone Negro beat Mr. Uganda, he can have both belt plus $5,000 to go along with it. Well, this is my belt. You're no good thief. It's my belt. And you know it's my belt. Why are you protecting me? 
Wait a minute, gentlemen. This is just my belt, and you know it's my belt. He has your belt. And you know what I am. Just a minute, gentlemen. You are nothing. You are nothing. You are nobody. You've always been a nobody. This is the only thing. Watch it. Ryan Schultz. Come back out here, thief. Come back out here, thief. Before the day is over with, before the day is over with Garden Solid, there's going to be a showdown on, on this television. I guarantee you, sit here and you tell everybody, Garden, if, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it just a matter of time. If Negro come back out here and put his name on the contract and say it, that he'll wrestle Mr. Uganda here, Garden Solid, if he beat Uganda, I'll give him $5,000. I'll give him, you, you, you can take the money. I'll give him $5,000 and the championship of both of the belts. Both of the belts. You keep the money, give it to him. All right. You keep it, give it to him. Well, all right, then we'll be we'll be right back. We'll be right back.